Well, the Republicans have been in control of Congress for one day, and already they've come up with 16 ways to Sunday to screw average Americans, working class Americans, poor people. And there's a huge, I told you so, about dynamic scoring that I've got to share with you. Um, uh, first, just a quick note and, and, and kind of a cautionary note, too. Uh, those people who are watching this program on, on Free Speech TV, on Dish or Direct or on cable systems around the country, uh, you probably noticed I am wearing uh, sunglasses, basically. I've got these little sunglass things that fit inside my normal glasses. And the reason why is because I just came from the eye doctor and they dilated my eyes and the, uh, the lights in the studio are so bright that they hurt. And, you know, with your eyes, if you've ever been through that, you know what I'm talking about. And I, th I think I mentioned this back... Uh, two months ago when it first started first started happening i was getting basically going going blind you know getting migraines that were knocking out my vision and uh then i started noticing that if at night when it was dark if i moved my head really fast i would see sparkles and uh you know my good friend ellen ratner who's on this program a lot you know talk, she runs the talk radio news service uh she had the same thing happen to her in her right eye as i recall and uh, she was in Africa when it happened, and by the time she got back to the United States, her retina had detached, and she is blind in that eye. And she's a real, uh, uh, what do you call it, evangelist about this stuff, about you know retinal detachment and, and uh, catching retinal problems. In fact, she ran for talk radio hosts at one of the talkers' meetings a couple of years ago. She brought in eye doctors, and they did free eye screening for everybody, and they identified like three or four people who had eye disease. So, anyhow, Ellen had warned me, if you, ever, if you ever see sparkles in your eyes, go see an ophthalmologist. So I went to see the ophthalmologist today. He said, I'm fine. He said, uh, here's what happens, though, and this is why uh, I'm, I'm not just sharing this t with you to explain for confused people on TV why I look like a hipster, um, but also just, you know, anybody in general. He said, what happens is that the, um, I don't remember if it's aqueous, vitri uh, aqueous humor or vitreous humor. I think it's the whichever it is, the liquid inside your eyeball, uh, behind the lens. Uh, the backside of that liquid is where the retina is on the back of the eyeball. And what happens is as people age, and I'm in my 60s, and so bingo, I'm, you know, this is the beginning. As, as people age, that fluid dries out. Now, there are things that can make it worse, living in, in northern or dry environments, flying a lot. I mean, when this happened to Ellen, she was on airplanes for hours and hours and hours. It's very dry on airplanes. Um, drinking a lot of alcohol dehydrates you. Uh, drinking a lot of coffee dehydrates you. And uh, But there's also just age. So what happens is that that liquid that when you were a little kid was like nice and liquidy, gets more and more like jelly and uh, loses its mass. It shrinks because it's drying out, basically. And as it shrinks, it pulls the retina away from the back of the eyeball with it, and it will cause a retina to detach. And this is a fairly common problem for people uh, in their 50s, 60s, and, and older. And, uh, you know, f thankfully it's not a problem I'm, I'm suffering from. I thought I might be, um, but I'm not. But I just wanted to share that with you because, uh, you know, like like Ellen Ratner would say, you know, it's like if you ever see sparkles in your eyes, get to see an ophthalmologist. That's an MD eye doctor um, right away. So back to the Republicans. They these these cretins. I mean, this is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. Um, dynamic scoring. You'll remember last week, as I recall, on this program. I opened this show by saying, I want to talk about something that sounds totally nerdy, totally geeky. Nobody knows what it's talking about. It sounds totally boring. People are going to say, come on, Tom, you're being paranoid. There's no way they would ever do that. Uh, even Republicans aren't that stupid. And I said, but I predict that one of the first things Republicans are going to bring up is something called dynamic scoring. Dynamic scoring is a fancy, academic-sounding, economist-sounding phrase that that one of these guys, Laffler, or one of these trickle-down supply-side people pulled out of their backside and said, hey, here's a fancy way of uh, doing this. So, and, and basically what it is, is normally if you cut taxes by, you know, $100 billion, in other words, you're going to reduce the, the income to the government by $100 billion from rich people, then you've got $100 billion less in your budget. 
right? That's that's normal budgeting, right? If your income goes down, you have less money. But according to Republican theology, and it's a theology, it's a religion. It is not. Uh, there, there is not only is there no science behind this. This was a theory when Alvin Laffler and 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 these guys, you know, pitched it to Ronald Reagan. It was a theory. They tried it, and it didn't work. It's been disproven. We have, you know, 34 years of Reaganomics. We know this is a lie. And the lie was, if you cut taxes on rich people, it'll actually increase your tax revenue because those rich people will then take that money and they'll use it to build factories and hire more people and stimulate the economy and wonderful stuff will happen. And what everybody said back in 1980 when this was being pitched and Reagan was pitching this and even in the primaries, George Herbert Walker Bush, who was running against Reagan in the primaries, called it voodoo economics, said it was stupid and crazy or words to that effect. But, you know, from from that day throughout the Reagan administration, they did this thing called dynamic scoring where they said, OK, we're going to we're going to lose 100 billion dollars in tax revenue. But that means the rich people are going to stimulate our economy so much. We're actually going to make an extra 10 billion dollars. So this tax cut is going to produce increased revenue for the government. It's literally voodoo economics. And they use this phrase dynamic scoring. Well, the House rules first day of of. The legislation of the legislature. We we should get Peter DeFazio on to talk about this. He he understands this stuff really well. Um, he could probably explain it better than me. But um, in any case, the the the, the they the, they establish the rules by which they they are going to interact with the Congressional Budget Office. And in the rules for the House, they said we are going to go for dynamic scoring. I don't have the exact language, and I couldn't read it right now anyway because my eyes are so dilated that I can't read. <laughs> but or I you know it's very very hard. Um, but they did it. They did it. It's it's right there. And you are going to I I I swear that you are going to see budget bills with dynamic scoring built into them. In other words, Reaganomics is back. Then the second thing they did is they put a rule in. That says that you can't move money around inside the Social Security accounts or even out of the general fund for Social Security to cover shortfalls. And there may be shortfalls in Social Security disability insurance this year. There, there typically are, and they just kind of move it out of the general fund into the SSDI fund. That you can't do that. Now, again, this sounds academic and wonky, and, and it's not sexy stuff that's going to make the evening news. But what it means is that Congress cannot pass laws or appropriations or anything for the next two years that will strengthen or increase Social Security. Can't do it. You can only pass laws or policies that will cut Social Security. The Republicans passed that yesterday. Did you see that on the evening news last night? I mean, this is astonishing what these guys have already done. uh, Food stamps, the the SNAP program, Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, SNAP is, is food stamp program. This program is supposed to run out at the end of next year. The Republicans are are saying, "Cool, really?" And these were this was uh, you know these these laws uh, that were enacted in 1996. They were time time uh, limited, and we're operating basically food stamps under an emergency. I mean, the the economy's in a crisis. It still is. It's not obviously for the top five or ten percent, but it is for everybody else. And the Republicans are going to take a whack at food stamps too. I mean, it's so they already they've gone after Social Security, the tax code and food stamps in less than 24 hours.